Batch scanning is the most basic and powerful method for importing paper documents into IMS. Batch scanning allows a user to edit documents when needed and to ensure what you are scanning is an exact replica of your paper files within your filing cabinet. Within the scan module, select the scan button. You'll now see the scan driver to the Panasonic KV-S 1025C. Your scan driver will look different depending on the brand. Your features may be also different. This is a commercial scanner offering plenty of features for any type of scanning scenario that you can imagine. I have some preset settings that I like. Automatic image orientation, automatic crop, D-SKU, and then within the layout tab we also enable blank pages to be removed. That's a nice feature and a time saver. If you tweak a lot of settings, typically you'll be able to save that setting under a new name and select it from a drop down here. Although Imaging Made Simple has been thoroughly tested with the Panasonic line of scanners, any Twain based scanner will do. Once you've made your tweaks, <clears throat> typically they'll stay the same from one day to the next. Select the Start button. Okay, so I just scanned in over 20 documents, dropping out the blank pages, dropped it down to about 18 pages. It starts with 0000, 000, 000 as the first page, ending with 0017, which would make 18 total pages. I typically like to start at the top. Now, if there's more documents to scan, you just continue scanning as I just showed you. And you can make this list grow as long as needed. If it's a 200 page document, or it's a, uh, a combination of documents, but you're just doing your batch scanning process. So you start at the top here, and I prefer using my arrow keys on my up and down, uh, the up and down arrow keys on my keyboard. And as you see, I'm scrolling through the pages. And because my scanner offered uh, orientation to be rotated right side up if uh, something was scanned upside down, I don't have one of those to show you. But what I will do is just show you how the feature works. Select the rotate button. And as you can see, it flips the image whichever way you need. In addition, if this image was hard to read, let's say it was a fax, we could invert the image to make it more legible. Also, if there's a reason for documentation to have annotations, which will be shown in another video, uh, you can apply those at any time as well. This is still the document preparation side of things. If you were to uh, use a copier for scanning or some other scanning device that simply scans a document and sends it right into our database, Imaging Made Simple, uh, there's no proofreading per se of the documents. So we're not doing our due diligence going through page by page and ensuring that each page was handled properly and inserted properly. Sometimes scanners will do funny things. They'll skip an entire page or they might draw two pages in together as one and you'll be missing 
multiple pages in the scan job. You may also get, for whatever reason, I, I have noticed uh, a half a page was scanned fine and the other half was gar gargity gook or, or nothing at all, just blank. So it's always good to take the little bit of time it takes to go through each page, making sure that you had a good scan. And let's say that one of these was a bad scan. All you would have to do is delete that one page. Are you sure you want to delete this image? Yes. Now that we've deleted that image, we need to go pluck that image from the stack and reinsert it. And you don't have to scan the entire job again, just insert uh, into the scanner the one or two pages that were messed up in the scan job. Once you scan that in, it'll place it here at the top. All you'll want to do is move it around. The up and down ki keys here will allow you to move images within the list so that they're in the right page orientation or in the appropriate place within the list of pages that we've scanned. Once we have completed our thorough analysis of the documents, making sure that every page is oriented right side up and no problems, let's say that this is one entire document. You'll place the cursor at the very last page of your document or if this was two documents we may want to place it here. If you place your, your uh, cursor here and it highlights 0008 then you select the Make Documents button. It'll take everything from this highlighted up as one document and send it to the database for indexing. But let's say that this entire job was not one entire document, but it was made up of group of documents. You can select this to be a TIFF or PDF, and you can tell it that every page is its own page, or every two pages start a new document, or three or four or so on. We can also use separator pages. Separator pages are covered in the manual. It's kind of like at the grocery store when you place that little bar behind your food in the grocery store where the uh, you know where your food begins and ends so that the cashier will know. It's the same way here. You'll put a separator page on top of your document separating one document from the next and this way you could scan in hundreds or thousands of pages at a time and my software Imaging Made Simple here will see that separator page. It'll drop it from the, pa the scan itself but it'll know where the beginning and end of each group starts. This is the beauty of scanning batch scanning in an environment that has a multitude of scan documents on a daily basis or weekly basis. So I'm going to go ahead and select every page as its own page. So now we're going to have eight separate pages. Make docs. which if you notice it does take just a slight bit longer to make eight documents than it did the first time I hit make documents which was making just one document. There are a few other features to examine but for this video that will complete our video.